Hi, Keith Rushing here with iCovest Capital Group, offering you information to protect and grow your cash flow while reducing your cash flow risk. But before we get started, I want you to know that I am not a tax advisor or giving you financial advice. I'm just offering solutions for your financial well-being. And the purpose of this presentation is hopefully to engage you in an additional conversation. So who benefits? Financial planners, estate planners, real estate attorneys, CPAs, those considering retirement or who are already retired and their families. So here's some questions. Who wouldn't want to increase their long-term gains at the same time reducing their risk? Who would want the assurance of a safe withdrawal rate in retirement and maintain their present lifestyle? And I believe everybody wants to make sure we don't live, outlive our money. And what group am I primarily speaking to is the baby boomers. 30% of baby boomers have no retirement savings. 25% have saved less than 50,000 and 70% will need long-term care. I really wanna focus on this 70%. 35% will need nursing home care. 70% believe that their health insurance will actually pay right now for long-term care. And less than 3% will buy long-term insurance. Now, here's the deal. Long-term care costs from 30,000 to $200,000 per year. Do you have a plan in place to cover those kind of costs if you fit in to this 70%? Well, here's the how for those of you that fit into the category of really securing your financial future. I would like to show you how you can harness the power of your equity and design a financial strategy that will determine a healthy financial future. How? Through a reverse mortgage, sometimes referred as to a HECM, which is a home equity conversion mortgage. This tool can help you achieve your financial goals. Did somebody say reverse mortgage? Oh no, not that Mr. Bill. Look, I get it folks. Please just hear me out. The reverse mortgage world is totally different from the stories of the past. The first reverse was in 1961. It was ugly, outcome was not so good, and a lot of people got hurt. In 1987, Congress passed the National Housing Act of 1987, making the reverse mortgage or a home equity conversion mortgage under the FHA insurance program. The first, the first reverse mortgage insured by FHA was in 1989. First lenders were approved to underwrite loans in 1994. This made a tremendous difference in the security of a reverse mortgage, uh, helping the borrower to understand everything that was going on, no prepayment penalties, just a lot of very good things that make a reverse or a HECM a very secured loan. So you ask, why should you consider a reverse mortgage? Well, number one, if you have a line of credit that increases the likelihood of a retirement portfolio success, why wouldn't you wanna look at that? Having a line of credit that grows that is not tied to real estate value. A reverse that can help you delay drawing your social security. And also, uh, when financial advisors reactions are, this is too good to be true, or why isn't everyone doing this? tells you that not many people really understand the reverse mortgage. As a retirement planning tool, you can reap a large windfall if your line of credit exceeds your home value, provides you a financial safety net, will improve your regular cash flow, cash flow, can be used to purchase other real estate, and it will also help you protect your investable assets. Let's talk about the misconceptions that the reverse is only for desperate seniors or house rich but cash poor borrowers. Not true. The reverse is designed for anybody that is 62 and above. The home must be debt free, does not have to be debt free, but it must have equity because you're leveraging this equity for cash flow. That the bank owns the home. The bank does not own the home. The borrower owns the home, just like any other loan, except in this one, if you don't pay, if you, you don't pay your mortgage, it doesn't make any difference because you have no mortgage payment. On a regular loan, 
you, if you don't make the payments, the bank will take your home. Another misconception is that the heirs will incur the debt of the home or the loan. Not true. The heirs have several different options. They can actually refinance the home, keep it, and have their own loan on the home. They can sell the home and take the equity and divide that among the heirs. Or if it's upside down, they just turn it over to the bank and the bank takes the debt. Some only consider a reverse mortgage as a last resort. And I want you to know that may be too late because when you're desperate and you're on the cliff, then you can make decisions that are not helpful, but desperate decisions. So now is really the time to take a look at this. Let's look at some other financial facts. The proceeds for a reverse mortgage is not considered income, therefore is not taxed. And you still make no mortgage payments. The cool thing is, is that you can continue to make payments that go directly to reducing the principal and increasing your line of credit. The qualifications, some we've already mentioned, you must have equity. You must be 62 and over. However, there are programs being rolled out now that you can get a reverse mortgage as young as 55. It must be your primary home. You must live in that home six months and one day of every year. You must have no delinquent federal debt, and you must have the financial resources for taxes, insurance, homeowner association dues, and the upkeep of the property. Qualified properties include new or existing single family homes, new or existing two to four unit properties of which one or more are owner occupied. They have to be FHA approved condominiums, Townhomes or planned units developments are included, and also manufactured homes that are up to FHA standard. Let's look at some of the financial risks that we are facing today. Out of control, double digit inflation, that it's costing more to live every day because of this outrageous inflation. The volatility of the market in Wall Street, who knows what's gonna to happen to our stocks and bonds tomorrow. We just know that they went down today and they'll probably go down tomorrow. So this is a great risk for those who have money strictly in stocks and bonds. We do have a housing bubble that's coming that's going to bring a drastic reduction of home values. So now is the time to really look at a reverse mortgage while home values are very high because your loan is based on the value of your home today, regardless of what it does tomorrow, next year, or five years. And also look at the devaluation of the dollar. We have seen over the last 10 years and really accelerating now that the devaluation of the dollar is gonna be 90% over the next uh, three to five years. And that is not going to be good for our money. Let's talk about what are the options of a reverse mortgage. You can do a straight cash out and use the money however you want to use it. You can set up a line of credit that will continue to grow. You can set it up on a monthly draw, or you can use a combination of any of the, those above. The idea is, is to plan a strategy that fits your needs and your desires for your financial future. You can also look at even using a reverse mortgage to purchase your next home. So if you wanna take, you sell your home, you wanna downsize. So rather than using all of your equity to purchase another house with no mortgage, use a portion of that equity and purchases on a reverse mortgage. So you make no payment, but you also keep a large portion of your equity to use as you desire. So again, it is a great financial tool and you got to investigate. So let me illustrate a line of credit and how this would work. If your value, uh, your home value is a million dollars and you owe no money, and you're 62, then your initial line of credit is 342,000. So you start in year one, having 342,000 available to you. By the year five, if you've not used it, it now has grown to 462,000. By year 10, 623,000. And by year 20, 1,132,000. 
So the loan is actually grown on for your benefit to provide that financial net or availability of cash when you need it. Again, a great tool. So I say to all the above financial planners, tax attorneys, CPAs, those that are retiring, getting ready to, that are already retired, this is very important for you to really investigate the truth and the power of the reverse mortgage or a HECM for you and your family. So again, really, I, I appreciate you taking a few minutes to kind of go through this with me. Uh, I'd love to have further conversations with you. All my contact information is below. So email, call, text, get a hold of me, and uh, it, it, it won't cost you anything to have a conversation. But I do look forward to talking to you. Have a great day.